out of sight. Well, here we've got two 14 pound turkeys. This one has been cooked for eight hours. Now, just have a look at that skin. It's withered, it's sunken. I can feel the flesh is going to be dry. Now, look at the flesh here. It's soft, it's tender, it's going to be succulent inside. How long has that one been cooked? Four hours. Believe me, four hours. If you're using a 14 pound bird, four hours will be plenty. And that's going to feed probably eight to 10 people. And I promise you, I'm going to show you exactly how you can achieve this with nothing but simplicity and flavour in mind. So just imagine, it's Christmas Eve. Now this is a fresh turkey. If you're using frozen, that's fine, but make sure it's well defrosted. That's very important. So there we have it, the bird, simple. Next, of course, is that classic pork and chestnut stuffing, which works so well with turkey. What I've got here, 750 grams of pork sausage meat, and then to that, I've added two onions, finely chopped, some chopped sage, the zest of two lemons, finely grated, 200 grams of chestnuts, there's 100 grams of white breadcrumbs, and there's two apples just peeled and grated. Gives a lovely little sweet flavor and works well with that lemon. Also, there's two eggs, salt, pepper, and a little bit of ground mace to give that little spicy finish. Now, the first thing I've done is actually taken a knob of butter, the two onions, and just lightly cooked them in the butter, and then I've added to that the lemon zest and the sage. Just allow that to cool before you're literally going to mix all the ingredients together. It's as simple as that. Just throw them all into the bowl with the sausage meat, mix well, and this is what you will have. A lovely, delicious chestnut and pork sage and onion stuffing. Now we're actually going to stuff the bird itself. What I've actually done is loosened up the skin, let's make some space here, and I've pushed my hands underneath the skin between the breast like that. We're making that sort of opening gap. What am I going to do next? Well, I've got some butter here. Look at this. All you do now, push it underneath like that, scrape it off the spoon. Let's go for one more, let's be a little bit extravagant. Now I know you're saying extravagant, but just remember, it is Christmas. We can afford to do this because it's extra flavor. So, butter is in, now what do you do? Just push it across the breast like that. Right, now we're gonna actually stuff the bird. Turn her over, and of course, we've already released that skin from the actual breast itself, so there's plenty of room to put the stuffing in here. Now, this is delicious, because that's going to add extra flavour as well. Also, that butter will run down the breast, and it's going to actually get into the stuffing, so even this is going to be more flavoursome. Next, we just literally pull that across. There's plenty in there. What we're going to need is just a couple of cocktail sticks. Push that through. In fact, even just one will do, and we'll hold all of that in. 